the football conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match why would they it is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game everybody has been attracted to it it has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed double decker buses lining up outside coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle so what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game a mouth-watering game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well under normal circumstances this is a massive matchup and i'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away in my experience if the opposition go at it full tilt then you have to reciprocate we'd like to see excitement and be entertained but if it does go down the serious route there'll still be lots to enjoy things have got on the way here pretty promptly what do you think this turns on jim well a player who's learned fast for me is luke shaw a fullback who likes to involve himself in matters at the offensive end of the pitch, but he covers the ground with speed and, and a good work ethic, so I think he's coming on really well. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Torreira. And that's sprayed out wide. Oh, that's nice. Mertens. really quick to react to the initial save and he has his reward well look regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not peter that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch galatasaray take the lead well just listen to the reaction i think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium Let's say big chance. And he's cut it out. Rashford. Torreira battles to win it back. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Manchester United have a free kick. And he has shown him a yellow card. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Mertens. And here's Mauro Icardi. And he's made sure that that won't get through. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution. Let's say it. And it's Cavani. That was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Pogba. Defenders on the back foot. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Zayek. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. And here's Mauro Icardi. And it's played forward. Wan-Bissaka. Manchester United can't make any... And the whistle goes for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. And there has 
only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. But you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Galatasaray come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. And there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. And the game has already resumed here. Galatasaray carrying a one-goal lead. Shaw hoists it high. Chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. And here's Mauro Icardi. He could be in here. Turns it out wide. Has a pop! Well, they can break here. Bruno Fernandes. Nicely measured pass. Well positioned to make that interception. Angel Rangel. Zahar provides an outlet. Lindelof gets it away. Galatasaray making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. And this is something different. Sanchez does well there. Alert. Right through the middle. Zahar. And the ball is out of play. Mertens is effectively being mocked out of the game here. Yeah, and they've made him a, a clear target of their focus to keep him as quiet as they possibly can. A nice touch. Sayak! His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Cristiano Ronaldo. Shaw. Balls loose, who's getting there? Nothing wrong with that tackle, ball won cleanly. Forward it goes. Icardi. Zayat. Going for goal! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, oh, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And it's Rashford. Manchester United are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Icardi plays it out to the wing. Has a goal! Oh, that should have been two. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. A really good feat from him. Icard goes for goal! He scores! And that should do it! Within sight of the finish line! Jim, your thoughts? Mauro Icardi has the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. So that's two now without reply. Maguire goes looking. Sanchez positions himself well and cuts it out. Sanchez drives it forward, hoists it forward. Rashford gets wrestled off the ball. Mertens. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And here's Zayek, Icardi. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. And the ref 
referee brings it to a close. This win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. More reflections then, Jim. Galatasaray will walk away happy from this with 